National Organization for All Forms of Racial Discrimination. Thank you, Mr. Uh, Mr. President. Racial discrimination has been criminalized but remains an issue due to its persistent and widespread manifestations. Specific attention must be paid with respect to women. Women are often victims of a dual discrimination due to gender and race, and evidence has shown that women, in fact, suffer more from racial discrimination than men. Racial and gender discrimination are not distinct in parallel issues, but are intrinsically linked and must be addressed together as they constitute a double burden for the woman concerned. This approach has been acknowledged by the Durban Declaration in 2001 and by the Special Rapporteur on Contemporary Forms of Racism in 2012. The distress of the victims in those situations is amplified. They are more likely to suffer from domestic violence or poverty, which further isolates and impedes them from obtaining the necessary protection. Obstacles such as a language barrier or lack of education are not always taken into consideration when dealing with individuals of different languages and cultures. The lack of protection is accentuated in periods of conflict where women endure cruel and inhuman treatment, such as, such as forced sterilization and rape. The inequalities are historically connected because of the discrimination common in both. The seeds that produce the racist mentality also produce the sexist one, the mentality of lifting oneself up by pushing another down. Therefore, we call upon states to follow the recommendations outlined in the different international instruments, stressing the importance of the gender perspective when dealing when dealing with questions of racial discrimination. Gender and racial discrimination must be confronted in unison if we hope to effect institutional change and introduce transformative models to remedy against the multi-layers of discrimination in law and in practice. Thank you, Mr. President.